So I'm going to show you how to lace a paddle. Uh, when you're using wooden paddles for canoeing, you tend to uh, abrade or wear the paddle at the point that the paddle uh, runs down the gunnel of the boat. So you get a bit of a wear point on the paddle. So what we can do is put some lacing on it to wrap around and protect the shaft of the paddle. And it's pretty simple to do, but it just takes a little bit of tweaking. So to sort this out, what you need is number one, a paddle. Number two, you need some two to three millimeter string two millimeter if you're using uh, lightweight open water puddles or three millimeter if you're going to be using lots of heavy duty uh, white water puddling techniques. So I've got my string, I've got my paddle and you're going to need some gaffer tape or some really sticky tape uh, and a pair of pin nose pliers and uh, a knife that comes on the pin nose pliers. But basically you need something to grip with that's really tight and a, and a sharp and a sharp blade and that's what you need and I'll show you how to wrap in a second. So the first thing I've done is work out which is my power face on the paddle. So that's the, that's the part of the paddle that's going to be doing all the, all the pushing against the water. Because that's where I want the, the lump in this particular lacing system to be. I want it to be on the, the power side of the paddle so my hands aren't actually interfering with it. My hands will be up here around the lacing rather than in the palm of my hand on the lump. So what I do then is I tape the end of the string onto the middle of the power face and then I take it all the way up to the height of where I think the lacing is going to terminate and then I, I just take the end and then I tape a bite in like so. So that's the section that we're going to lace and you can clearly see the, the wear on the paddle there so that's the, se the section that's going to be completely engrossed with, uh, with cordage. So that's the hard bit, measure from bottom to top and we'll start from there. So the first thing we're going to do is take the cordage and marry it together. In other words, place the two cords together. And the start of the wrapping is the hardest part. Once you've got it going, it's just easy. You just repeat. But starting it is tricky. So you marry the two cords together. And then you basically wrap around the paddle in such a way that you end up trapping the two cords and going around the paddle tight and making a parallel line. So I'm just going to do it loosely because you can see it quickly happening. And that's me wrapping up the paddle steadily. And that, that looks really pretty. But that's me doing it in a way that you can see it taking effect quickly. If I'm going to do this in reality, what I've actually got to do is put a real pile of tension on and get these wraps of the lashings in as tight as possible don't do it tight then it's going to come up in the water. So to do it tight you have to take your time and grip really slowly. So uh, maybe what we'll do is do a close-up to see how we do that. So you marry the cords, you put your finger where you want the cord to be. Okay so I'm going to go from there just where the paddle starts to widen into the blade to the throat of the paddle and then I'm going to go round both cords at the same time and at that point I'm going to pull it really, really tight, keeping my thumb in position to keep the cords where I want them. Pull it as tight as I can and then wrap it into position like so. And I'm holding my fingers in position all the time and I'm putting as much tension on as I possibly can. My fingers are wrapped around the cords and you can see my fingers going purple, trying to sustain the amount of tension through the cordage. And I go right round the shaft of the paddle working it up and keeping the strings tight together. And it takes a few minutes, but once you started, there's so much friction that you don't have to worry about holding the strings in place anymore. The strings themselves will stay in place and you can just concentrate on working the cordage up the paddle by hand. Okay. So that's basically a case of repeat this action until you are at the top where we'll show you how to finish the lashing off. Okay, so we've, we've wrapped all the way up the paddle, keeping tension as tight as possible. And as you, I've wrapped up to the end of my marker tape now. So I pull tight and keep that tight with my thumb. And then what I'm gonna do is take the cordage and pass it through the little knot, or the little loop I should say, and pull all the cordage through. That's done. 
Now what I'm going to do then is actually continue wrapping just a tiny bit further. That's surely so I can maintain tension. So just an extra couple of wraps to maintain tension. Okay, job done. Now really what I need to do there, just to make my life really easy, is to take a bit of gaffer tape and stick that on so it won't unwrap itself and then I'll show you how to finish. So just dob that tape on. It's ugly but it's only going to be temporary. Okay, done. So that's it, wrapped, pulled up. Now what we're gonna do now is take this tape off the bottom. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is take our pliers, pinch them on, and roll them round so they're tight. And then what we're gonna start doing is pulling the cordage through by rolling as tight as we possibly can. First layer of tape off, take the second layer of tape off. Okay. Just put that to back on. Now what we're gonna do is do that again. Hopefully you'll see how this strip of cord pulls all the way through pulls down, kinching to the very end. So put it on, roll it, 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 roll it. There you go, can you see that up by my thumb? See it pulling tight, just by twisting and twisting and twisting. And that's getting tighter and tighter and tighter until finally you can see it's pinched just in there. There you go, tight, really tight now. Now that's secure, but it's not tidy. So let's show you how to make it tidy. Okay. To make it tidy, we undo the cordage and wrap, take the extra wraps off that we had. So that's now the very end, pinched at the top. So here's the two ends that we're gonna get. So what we're gonna do now is cut with our sharp knife. Not too close, probably about, about there. Done. Super sharp knife. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this cord as tight as we can and that's going to pull inside this lashing and drag this end down and we're going to pull it into such a point that the tight, the, the loose end is pulled inside and kept captive so no loose ends are at the, end, at the, uh, at the outside of the lashing. Just pull that tape off. So this is the the brute force and ignorance bit where you just got to keep wrapping and wrapping and pulling as hard as you possibly can. As you can see, it's starting to pull through. You see the pull end being pulled in and the trick is to be able to pull it just enough, just enough so the end is pulled in tight, not so much that you lose it. I can 
re-grip on that, losing the, the edge. There you go, you can see it coming through. Doing it nice and steady. Watching it disappear. Bit at a time. Three, two, almost in. And that's it, it's in. So what we're gonna do now, is take our sharp knife, trim the end off, really close, really neat and tidy into here. And then to finish that off, we'll take a little lighter, just fray the edges. One wrapped paddle so that my lump is on my power side and I'm protected as I go down the side of the gunnel. There you go, done. It might feel a tiny bit loose, but I guarantee the moment you put it in the water and it soaks, the cordage will swell and it'll bind on so tight that it will actually sound like you would when you flick it. Bound, bound on really, really well. So there you go. Done. That's how to wrap a bubble.